Yes, you read correctly. I want to show you guys some of my online Goodwill finds. So welcome back to my channel. I am the Novel Crown because I love bags, purses, and all things novelty. I had actually a really good weekend and I hope wherever you guys are, you are doing well. Now the website I'm referring to is shopgoodwill.com. Now for those of you who already know about shopgoodwill.com, put in the comments some of the items that you found and some of the deals that you've gotten. Now for those of you who don't agree with the Goodwill or just don't like to, um, you know, purchase pre-owned items or things like that, that's okay. But for those of you who want to know the information and don't mind pre-owned items and don't mind the Goodwill, let me share with you some of the items I found. Now, not everything on Shop Goodwill online is pre-owned. So, for example, I got this Kate Spade bag, tag still on it. It did come with, you know how they put plastic on the hardware? The plastic was still on the hardware and the little paper was still on the zipper pull. Tags are on it beautiful color very very clean in brand new condition and i got this bag for 26 dollars. and look on the inside nice and clean strap is in there and i just thought that this was a really awesome find now same with my kate spade planners both of these planners were brand new on shop goodwill online that one I paid $9 for, and I just put a sticker on there because my name's Tiara, it's a T. I got the sticker from Packed Party, it's one of the confetti initials, and this one I got for $17, and I just thought that they were great deals for some Kate Spade planners because I definitely use them. Now this Dooney Brenna right here, I did get this pre-owned, and it was $36, and I thought that that was, it's a wonderful bag for the price. It still smells like leather. It came with a strap. And I'll show you the inside. The inside's really clean. So the inside is nice and clean. The front pocket is nice and clean. The back pocket has just a slight amount of maybe like dust in there, but you can actually barely tell. But for it to be in pre-owned condition and only $36, I thought that this was actually a really good find. Um, I really like the bag. I've carried it a couple times and it's it's a great bag. Now you guys are going to laugh. So I got this bag actually on accident because on shopgoodwill.com a lot of the items are um, auction. And so you have to bid on some of the things that you want. Now not everything, some things you can buy outright, but a lot of the things you have to bid on. Now in my um, my favorite, sometimes I just bid on things when they're really low. And if I get it, I get it. And if I don't, oh well, not a big deal. But this is one of the bags. So it is called, I don't know if you guys know this brand. You see it at TJ Maxx a lot. But the brand is Davina Ferenz, Ferenzi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But this bag was $6. And it was pure accident. I saw the bag come on. It was $6, it stayed $6, I forgot about it, and maybe a day later I'm going through my emails, and it said, you won, you know, this, your auction, this bag, and I'm like, no way, I got this bag for six bucks. And there's actually quite a few bags on there, and just items in general that nobody bids on, and so you're able to get like a really good deal on some of the things. Now, you do have to pay shipping for the bags. However, if it just so happens to be a Goodwill that is close to you that's selling the item that you're wanting, you can select to pick the item up in store if that'll work out better for you. But let me grab my iPad and I'm going to go through the website with you so that I can kind of show you the way that I use the, uh, the website. Hold on one second. Okay, so I fooled around with this and this is kind of the best angle that I could get to be able to show you guys how I use this website. Now, I'm just giving you just kind of an overview. I'm not going to be scrolling um, very much to show you guys many of the items because I don't know about you, but sometimes when I watch um, people who are showing things from a second screen, if they're going too fast, it kind of makes me nauseous. I don't want that to happen. I get motion sick so easy. So I'm going to just show you guys kind of an overview of how I use the website. Now, the first thing you want to do is create an account for yourself. And I'll tell you why that's important. So I know you can't see this because of the angle. So there's, I have overhead lights um, in my ceiling. And if I move this a certain way, it's going to be glare all, all over the place. But when you download the app on your phone, look at the bottom. There's a little person. You click that and fill out all your information. 
Now, the reason that's important to do that in the very beginning is because that way you can go ahead, if you see something that you really like, you can be able to go ahead and put that as your favorites right away. Now, let's go ahead and do a search. So, let's search Dooney, one of my favorite brands. Okay, now look up here. Do you see this? There are 639 results for Dooney. And if you look, some of them, if you look, some of them say quick bid, like right here. This is a buy it now. Buy it now, that means you don't have to bid on it. But the ones that say quick bid, that means that you do have to bid on the item. So let's just say right here. I like this Dooney, for example. Now it is a bid. I click on it. And say I just want to look at it. Now, if I scroll through, I will be able to see the pictures. See the pictures of it. They're showing me the sides of it, the inside of it, the hardware. And um, another thing is some of the items, not everything, but some of the items comes with a certificate of authenticity. Now, say I like this bag. Not sure if I want to get it. Let me put it in my favorites. So I click that. Now at the bottom, I don't know if you can tell, but at the bottom right here, it says sign in. Let me try it again. Oh, hold on, let me go back. Okay, now at the bottom, it says sign in to add to your favorite list. Well, that's why it was so important to go ahead and make your account because now in order to put this in your favorites, you're gonna have to go back, create an account, then find this purse again and put it into your favorite. So that's just why I like to do it um, ahead of time. And right now there are three hours and 34 minutes left to be able to um, get this particular bag. It is at $27, it looks brand new. And the only thing I have to do is click right here, say I wanted to bid on this, right now it's $27. I need to bid at least $29 to try to get this bag. And then I'll just hit submit to place my bid and it'll let me know in an email or I can come back and look in my account to see if I won this bag. Now you do have the ability to set a maximum bid. Um, similar to eBay, if you guys are familiar with eBay. So say I really wanna to try to get this bag. I don't wanna spend more than $50, but I am willing to at least spend up to that amount. So all I do is put $50 right there, hit submit, and it'll automatically bid up until it gets to $50 for me. Now let's go back and I'll show you another way that I search for items. So say for example, I am looking for a Dooney purse and I only want to see purses. I don't want to see any clothing or any shoes or anything like that. So I'm going to filter that out. So you do have the ability to filter. So you go to clothing. You see where it's, how it says all clothing? I want you to go to women's clothing and then go ahead and scroll down to purses right here. And that's how you find, and then you click apply, and that's how you find just purses. There's still 617 results, but at least it, you get what I mean. It helps you just at least a little bit to be able to scroll through and look at certain things. Now you can like say this Brenner right here, sometimes they will have the actual name of the bag. So if you're looking for something, something vintage, or you're looking for just a specific purse that you really can't find anywhere else, go ahead and put the name of that purse in there, say Dooney Brenna, then it may um, pop up those exact results for you. Now I will say, go ahead and use your best judgment. So for example, this purse right here, let me click on it. Right now it is at $14.99. There are four hours and seven minutes left on this auction. And let's just say, I kind of like this purse. That means $14.99, not too bad. Um, I'll just have to look through look at the pictures and see if I like this bag. I'm looking all over the place. The inside looks pretty clean. There's the tag right there. There's the serial number and it has the strap with it. So, you know, $14.99, not too bad, baby. I'll bid on that. But like I said, when you look at the pictures, a lot of times you just have to, like you can um, make it bigger and kind of scroll through and see. Just use your best judgment. If you think that it is worth the price that you're paying, then go ahead and bid on it. And, you know, I mean, 
a lot of times you can get some really good deals. Like I said, I'm just giving you some examples. Now, if you wanna see where this purse is located, you can click contact seller. Right now, if I click it, since I'm not signed in, it's not gonna show me um, where this purse is located. But once you sign in, it'll show you which Goodwill it, it's at and you can decide on if that's close to you, you can you know, go and pick it up or you can have it shipped to you. Now let's just say this authentic Dunian Burke brown textured leather Tony satchel. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna look through the pictures on this purse. Sorry, try not to scroll too fast. The inside looks pretty clean, not, and it also has the, um, certificate of authentication with this purse. So I know that this purse is a legit um, Dooney purse and I might want to bid on this purse. I actually kind of like this purse, but right now it's at $33.55. So I would have to raise the bid by $35.55. And like I said, I usually will do a maximum. So let's just say my maximum for this purse is 50 bucks and it'll bid for me automatically until it gets, gets to uh, $50. Okay, so we're back at the home screen. Now I want to show you, so there are different categories. It's not just purses, but like I said, we're focused on purses today. Um, I'm going to go to the accounts area. Hello, Tiara, so it's right there, so that's me. And just to kind of give you a rundown of the different tabs, so there's open orders, and that means that the orders that you have already won or um, did a buy it now and paid for, those are right there. Your shipped orders, your auctions in progress, and those are the ones that you are bidding on right now, and they have not ended. Your closed auctions, now that's whether, if you bid on something, whether you won the auction or not, that will be in your list of closed auctions. Your favorites, and like I said, let me touch on that. So you know how I told you the little hearts? If you click on a heart, it will go in this area so that you can see all of your favorites kind of at a glance and where they are in their auction or buy it now pro um, process. There is personal shopper. Now I like personal shopper, let me show you that. Now personal shopper is a way for you to be able to get an email whenever there is an item that you really wanna know um, has been listed. Right now, I have Kate Spade purse. Now you do get 60 days on this. I like Kate Spade, so whenever they um, put a new Kate Spade, I will get an email that there's a new Kate Spade and I can go and look on that. Um, it comes with a link so that you can be able to just click on it and go straight to it. But let's just add something new so you can see how this works. So let's say I wanna know whenever there is a new Dooney that comes up on the website. So I'm gonna put duty, search item title only. That means that I only want the title to say duty. Or I can put search item title and description. Now, you know, sometimes they have lots, meaning they'll have a lot of Kate Spade, Coach, and Dooney all in one auction. Now say they don't mention Dooney in the title, but in the description, they do mention that there is a Dooney bag. So you can decide if you would like that um, description and title as well. Then you go down here to categories. So the categories, I am going to put clothing, because like I said, to get to purchase, you have to go through clothing. My minimal, say I don't wanna see a Dooney any less than $10. And then I don't want to see a Dooney any more than $100. Email frequency, do I want daily or every three days? Let's say daily. Email duration, do I want this to go on for 30 days or do I want this to go on for 60 days? So let's just say 60 days. Now I save that. So now you see how it comes up there? Whenever a new Dooney comes on the website, whether it's a bag or a keychain, I'm gonna get an alert, I'm gonna get an email with a link that will take me right to that item. Okay, let's go back and I'll show you some more. So the next um, item is customer service. So say you had a problem or issue or just a question about something, you can click that and be able to go to customer service and get the help that you need. Your saved searches, you can save your searches. So say you're searching for something, you're searching for a coach bag, you can save that. Your pickup schedule, so say the um, place that you're getting your bag from is local to you. This will tell you when and where you need to pick your bag up and then just the other privacy policies and all of that okay, stuff. Now let's go back to the home screen and I wanna show you something. 
you see how, here, let me type in the word coach, okay? Now, there are 3,439 results for coach. That's because the search that I did for coach did not discriminate what kind of coach. Is it coach uh, baseball cards? Is it a coach, t you know, a t-shirt for, you know, going and playing um, a game or a coach at a game? I don't know. But we want handbags. We want purses, right? So I'm going to filter it down. And remember, you have to go to clothing women's clothing and then go to purses and hit apply and so you see it did bring that down to 2537 results for coach purses and there are different ways that you can actually view the bag so these are ending the soonest that means that you need to hurry and bid on these now like here's a wallet right here for $7.99 it ends in two hours but let me go to newly listed so here are the newly listed bags. Um, you kind of know how this works. Some of them are quick bids. Some of them you can go ahead and buy it now. Like this bag right here, $9.99. It's either a quick bid or you can um, buy it now. And so the current price is $9.99. But if you don't want to worry about bidding on anything, if you look right here, you see where it says $15, you could just go ahead and buy that bag for $15 and have it shipped to you so you don't have to worry about the bidding. And then here's some other ones. You can see some of them have wallets and things with them, some of them. And actually, there are, um, how do you say it? There's like lots, like bulk items. I'll show you those in a second. This right here, um, the items that have the maximum bids. Like this is a 19 bulk purse, coach purse with Michael Kors and Dunia Burke for 193. So you're getting 19 bags with that. This one right here, $241 and you're getting all of those. Um, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Some of them have the um, authentication and different ones. So there's all different ways let me show you some more here's price lowest first so here's a bag for $2.99 now like I said you got to use your own judgment so some of these bags you really got to look at you got to decide whether um, you like the condition of the bag the condition and the price if that matches up well for you and the other thing is say you see a bag and you think that it's a good deal. Now, you don't know if it's really a good deal because sometimes the same bag can be, I don't know, somewhere else, maybe eBay or Poshmark or Macari, and it wasn't a good deal on here. So you just kind of play with it and look around and see what is going to work for you. Now, here's another reason that I really like shopping on here is because there's bags that I like to look for that I either can't find anywhere else or they don't make that bag anymore. Like for example, I like MZ Wallace, but I like the older style of MZ Wallace. So a lot of times I'll just go on here, click MZ Wallace or um, type in MZ Wallace and search. There's usually not a lot of them, but right now there are two. And let's say I like this one and I look at it right now, it is $11. And I can decide whether if I already have that or if I um, don't have it and I like this bag, I can go ahead and bid on it. So like I said, if it's something that you're looking for that you haven't seen in a while, you can't find on eBay or Poshmark or wherever, check um, shopgoogle.com. You never know, you might be able to find it. And for those of you who are into Kate Spade novelty, as you guys know, I love novelty. Um, I have seen quite a few novelty bags on here. They do go for um, quite a bit, but you can find them. Like say you're looking for the camera or you're looking for the lobster or you're looking for, you know, just different ones. I mean, it's just another place for you to kind of find some things that you're looking for, or just another tool in your, in your purse um, to save you some money um, possibly because, you know, I've gotten some really good deals now. I've gotten many, many more 
more things, not just bags and purses, like I said earlier, but I've gotten many things. And a lot of you know that my husband and I, we do um, a medieval tavern. Now, there are some pictures on Instagram if you're, if you're interested in seeing that, but I've gotten so many things for that to be able to make our tavern look really cool and look really neat. So yeah, just go through, play with it, play around with it, look through. And, and if you have already um, found some things that you've gotten before, let me know. I want to see, I want to hear about what you got. If you guys want to take a sneak peek at what's in my favorites right now, I'll show you. Okay, so I have this backpack right here. It's $13. It's a Swarovski. How do you say that? Swarovski? Crystals. I know I'm butchering that. Sorry. <laughs> Crystals. There's, I have this Kate Spade. It's a um, bracelet with glass. It's a glasses like bracelet. Bracelet shaped like glasses. There you go. Um, this Michael Kors. I know you guys, some of you guys know that I'm looking for a backpack. There's a Michael Kors maroon patent leather backpack. I thought that this would be really cute. It's Daniel Nicole. I'm Disney Princess Castle. I'm looking at getting that for my daughter. Another backpack, $7.95. A Karl Lagerfeld. I do like Karl Lagerfeld. Here's another one. Now that's at $60. I think I'm going to kind of duck out on that one. I don't know if I want to pay $60 for that. A little house that's, well, that's now at $49. I don't know if I want to get that. A mini mouse, and here's a coach um, wallet. It's one of the Apple wallets, and that's $12.99. So that's just some things that I have. Oops, sorry, I don't mean to scroll so fast. Um, that's just some things that I have in my um, favorites list. So just to show you, they also have some luxury items, like some high-end items. Like say you're looking for Louis Vuitton, or you're looking for Prada or Gucci. They do have those items on here as well. They do come, well, not all of them, but some of them. You just have to look for yourself, have the um, certificate of authentication, on here so I don't know enough about Prada to be able to know exactly what I want or what I want to get because I I don't have any Prada but um, just to show you that they do have those they do have Louis Vuitton as well they have Gucci um, like I said and I don't know enough about those brands I don't buy those brands enough to um, really know if I'm getting a good deal but just to let you guys know for those of you who are looking for another place to kind of um, search for those items this you know could just be another place for you and here's another fun thing to search for and that's keychains a lot of times they have like you see right here it says six pounds of keychains three pounds of earrings and keychains so i don't know if you're looking for just a bag of goodies and keychains and you know i don't know what's all in the bags but i mean it's not that much like for example six pounds of keychains and bracelets are $12.99 especially if I don't know you make jewelry or you like to make things for yourself I mean it could be you know a really good option right here is three grab bags of keychains earrings paired earrings three pounds of inspired keychains $7.99 six pounds of you know more keychains there's all sorts of things like that to look through now let's just say you don't know what you're looking for but you just want to look at purses so let's just type in purse or you can type in handbag search there are 3976 results if i just type in the word purse now let me filter it down to make sure that all i'm getting is purses women's clothing go to purses hit apply still 3748 results and you can just scroll away until your heart's content you can look at purses that are ending soonest, newly listed, different bids, lowest, highest price, and just search away, see if you can find some things. And you know, I'm always excited to look for purses and sometimes that's all I do. I just sit, look for different things, things that I've never seen before, are just, I don't know, things that are new to me or things that are vintage that I, you know, am looking for. It's, I don't know, it's just something fun that I like to do. So I really hope that that gives you kind of a rundown on how the site works. I hope that helps someone. And, you know, let me know in the comments um, if you found anything um, or if this is a new site for you and you've never seen it before. But as always, thank you so much for all your comments, your kind words, your likes. I so appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video. And I see you again in my next video. Bye.